Douglas is uh, with Armstrong Growers, one of the premier, premier growers. I mean, the stuff they put together is unbelievable. Uh, finished, hang up the, the annual perennial vegetables, herbs, uh, that's, that's Douglas and some of the flowering shrub stuff, some butterfly bush, some, but mainly, mainly it's all of them. It's color. Basically it's got color. If it's got flowers, it's, this is the guy. If it's up here, it's up here. <laughs> pretty, pretty much that's it. So Douglas, we could not run a garden center without him. And no other grower in the Southwest comes close to their quality. They, they just don't even, they're so subpar that you put them in the ground, they stop blooming or they just don't look that good or the vegetables are not organic, genetically modified. They just don't stand. We're, we're all organic, all non-GMO, all these standards that we have. They fit that and their stuff looks good. So with that, I'll leave it up. Give a, give a hand to uh, Douglas. Well, good morning and thank you, Ken. Um, glad to be here. Um, thank you, Waters, for being such a good partner with us. Um, we're always uh, thankful for the partnership that we've built over the years. Um, so like Ken said, all the stuff from us is mostly the color, um, annuals and perennials. Um, our quality definitely stands out against um, all of our competitors. Um, any competitors up here, you're going to um, notice that Waters always has the best um, items that are in full bloom, the healthiest plants. Um, we use the best soil mixes. Um, we grow in larger one gallon, two gallon, or hanging baskets than what you would find at a box store. Um, so it just gives us a cutting edge as an independent, um, and you know, we're always hoping uh, for us to be promoted uh, better. So <clears throat> right now, because we still are a little chilly and we're gonna be chilly for a couple of more weeks, um, we're promoting pansies. Um, we actually grew these specially for Kent here at Waters um, in one gallons, um, since we are on the other side of the season for these, um, you get a bigger, bulkier plant. It's already blooming. It's got tons of buds in there ready to go. It comes in a variety of colors. Um, this one here is called Mammoth uh, Blotch Yellow. So this is the largest yellow uh, flower on the market. Um, and then the blotch is just the, the fun little, what we call a face on it. Um, all of our plants are grown with uh, organic fertilizers, um, like Ken touched on with our edibles, which Right now in the chili season, there are quite a few vegetables that you, and herbs that we can plant. Um, the spinach and the lettuces and the kales um, are all really great right now. Um, <clears throat> the nice thing about our program is, like Ken said, it's organic, it's organic. So we are certified not just federally, but because we are a California grower, we're um, certified through the state of California, which is actually stricter um, rules and regulations than federal. Um, and you'll always know that because all of our um, tags and all of our plants will show that it's certified organic. Um, so the proof is, is right there for, for you to see. Um, um, there's all the rage about you know the, the bad chemicals that are being used. A lot of the box stores um, you know have to label it that way. Here at Waters Garden Center, we don't have any of that because as a grower of theirs, we don't use any of those um, horrible, nasty things that are um, affecting um, the, the birds and the bees. Um, <clears throat> another item, or another point is all of our um, four inch, which is this size, which we don't have yet, is the perennial program, which those are all 100% organically grown, which is actually very challenging for us as a grower to grow something that blooms without any type of chemical in it. So um, you can faithfully know that when you buy a perennial here at Waters that you are not affecting um, any of the bees or any of the pollinators, butterflies, all that stuff. Um, so. It's a really proud moment for us. It's taken us many years. Um, we've actually taken uh, a couple years off of growing a couple of really important crops until we perfected um, growing it organically. So that's a really cool thing. And like I said, unfortunately, it's still chilly, so a lot of those, those perennials aren't here yet, but definitely stop back in the next few weeks. Um, we'll, we ship uh, every week here, so we're excited for that. Um, another really cool item is the Swiss chard bright lights. And as you can see, you get, <clears throat> For a foliage plant, you get a really big bang of color. All the stems are really brightly colored with um, your oranges and your yellows and your deep red. A lot of the times in the landscape, we're using this ornamentally, meaning that you're not necessarily going to eat it. Um, so, but, so it's a really good companion plant um, with the pansies and the violas and um, 
all the other postseason plants that we can plant right now. Um, in the family of pansies, we have a brand new one that is the cool wave pansy. So everybody kind of just remembers pansy as an old-fashioned plant that um, our grandmothers and grandfathers grew. What's great about this is it's hybridized to actually trail. So a lot of people know what um, super tunias are and wave petunias. So this is <clears throat> going to do just that for you. So whether you have a large bed that you want something to spread or that hanging basket um, or a tall container that you want something um, to trail over, these uh, cool wave pansies are really awesome. And we've got them in stock in about three or four different colors right now. So definitely take a look at those. Um, another great item is just the ornamental cabbage. Um, again, it comes in a few different colors. We'll take in case we get another frost, um, but happy with the, with the cooler weather. Um, and that's really the spotlight for what's really great for this weekend to come in and plant. Um, definitely open to any questions. I'm here all day. Yes, ma'am. Would you describe yourself as a more vegetable gardener, personally, or a flower gardener? Flower guy. What's your favorite flower any time of the year? Just personal and color. <clears throat> oh, it's it's definitely a super tunia, which is the trailing type of petunia, and there's one that's called a Johnny Flame, which is a really, really vibrant. Um, it, it's, it's hard to say what color it is because throughout the day it actually changes, but it's it's in a fuchsia, dark burgundy kind of color family. Um, so that's my ultimate. And what was that one called? Johnny Flame and Super Tunia. So. Again, the, and that will have a show that we're in April. Yeah, so another month. Be, yeah. So as soon as we get, we're the tunias will take a light frost, but they won't take a hard freeze. Right. So as soon as we think we're done with hard freeze, we'll just get you know, 30s. We'll, we'll start bringing those in. Same with the geraniums, all that stuff. Right. Yeah. So a lot, a lot more vegetables are coming. I mean, we're not ready for tomatoes yet. Yeah. No. People Definitely. are asking though. There's no. Like, uh, God, last year, year, that's all they asked for. <laughs> <laughs> um, but. Definitely stop back in because when the peppers start coming in, we have a huge, huge new collection of hot peppers. Um, that's kind of all the craze right now. So everybody who wants to make their sauces and stuff, definitely stop back in for, for those. There's a whole um, collection of new chilies that we're doing. Um, a lot more tomatoes, a lot more heirloom tomatoes, um, varieties that people have never heard of we have. So definitely um, come check those out. And I always dedicate myself 10% of my garden dedicated to just fun new stuff I've never done it before I have no idea what to do with bok choy but I then want to try it so it forces me to find a recipe and, and figure out what to do with it or juice it or I can tell you this one great for juicing Lisa and I love the juice I plant this in the fall and it looks like this it's beautiful and if you're a bird gardener you love birds this is a food source for a lot of us the little guys sparrows and stuff they'll, they'll peck away at the flesh as a food source before the seeds and the other weeds come up. In a couple of weeks, their natural stuff that they like will take over and they'll, they'll, the pressure will be off of this. They'll go to their natural stuff. So if you want to bring more birds into your garden, I plant this in the backyard just for them. So that's some ways to do it. I did plant this uh, cool wave last fall because I know pansies will go right through winter. It's been in bloom nonstop since I planted it. It's now this long. And it's trailing over this great big pot, and then I've got snapdragon and stuff behind it. It's it's marvelous. I mean, it's just beautiful to have something trailing in the winter. You just there aren't any. Yeah. This is one of the only things you can have when it's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, and then anyway, I think they covered it. But yeah, non-GMO, organic. Yep. That's a reason. If you were using chemicals, I can tell you, Home Depot and those guys, they're using nicotoids. That's how they keep track, get the bugs down, so they don't have to clean the, the greenhouse, they don't have to be organized, they don't have to be organic, because they got this stuff that kills bees. You and I, and I don't know what else, in the soils, and I just don't want that for myself. I gotta handle this stuff all day long. I'm the guy that's gonna get cancer, not you all. You're gonna plant one or a dozen plants and you're done for the year. I'm gonna sell 2,000 of them. So I really am worried about myself, but then that extends out to my friends. So if they just have, we just don't use that. And then from there, we bring your plants in, we give them mycorrhizal fungi, which help them root, help them take, help them uh, root faster so you get better propagation, better take, better. We do that for shrubs or trees, everything. So that's kind of, we're, we're trying to get, we're notice a place where our plants grow. Uh, the other guys, they have a great warranty. They need it, because their stuff doesn't grow. 
we've got an even better warranty and our stuff does grow, so you won't have to use it. So anyway, thank you. Give it up for Douglas. Thank you very much.